Welcome back to Chris Plies, day three of the Cub. I'm going to do my transit checks. This is G Offer, it's a new aircraft, I've not flown it before, so it'll be interesting to see how it flies. It's a busy old day today, lots of aircraft in the circuit. We're doing more landings, touch and goes, and see if I can nail the pedals and the transition from flight to landing, transition from rudder to, or sorry, stick to rudder. So here we go, transit checks round Offer, and uh, let's get cracking. So first of all, we've got to check the fuel. Quick finger dip. Can't feel anything. It says it's about half full on the gauges. I found the trusty dipstick to measure the fuel. And that looks about half a tank. And then next, we do a quick oil check and make sure we've got plenty of oil. The aircraft's been flown, the engine is hot. And oil is just under six, which is good. And then finger tight, not too tight on that. And just check for any oil leaks or disconnected leads, discoloration, shroud. Can't see any oil leaks? This is nice and tidy. This one seems much cleaner than the X Cub. My mission today, after my power checks and lining up on 07, is to get better at feeling this aircraft, gently flying it, small changes, small motions, small power adds. So I'm lining up on 07 and I'm going to let the stick start to come forwards and I just let it float now in my hand. So not pushing, not pulling, full power and just let the aircraft fly itself. Off it comes, it's so much more straightforward. And using this technique, I find it much easier to get going once we've done the touchdown and start to go around. So I'm coming onto base and from base I'm going to turn onto final. I'm feeling the aircraft much more, I feel much more in sync with it today and of course without the uh, blustery conditions, the gusts and the turbulence that just bring it in, it's much, much more straightforward. So my airspeed speed feels good, uh, the positioning of the aircraft feels good, the height is good, there's no rush, we've got a long runway and the key thing I'm doing here is I'm bringing the stick all the way back which I haven't been doing in the other cub. It's a shorter stick and not so easy to do. I'm also letting it roll out a bit before I get rid of flaps, before I start to put the power on to take off. As I say, we've got a massive runway. What's the rush? And I think that's what was causing me some of the challenges before. I was thinking about the takeoff before I'd even landed the aircraft. Back onto final, back onto 07, keep going. Okay, now I've got to nail this one. Second time in, I don't think I'm coming in quite as well. I'm a bit longer, I'm a bit faster. It doesn't feel quite as good. Touchdown. And, oh, do you know what? I didn't have the power fully off when I came over the numbers. So bad technique, I should have got the power off. And I should have come in on no power. So this is now in my head as we go around for my next attempt. Okay, here we go again. Relaxed, calm, maybe coming in a bit too fast. I'm gonna flare a little bit too early and a bit too hard back now. So not quite feeling it, pulled back a little bit high maybe. And we're gonna bounce, boom, a little balloon, bounce. It's all right, it's not too bad, not bad. Back on it again. Okay, make this a good one. How am I gonna get down? A little bit quick, a little bit high, uh, not too bad, gentle controls. I'm looking pretty relaxed, I feel relaxed, but I think I'm gonna come in a little bit fast. Yeah, a bit high going along the runway, keep flying it, keep flying it, keep flying it, keep pulled back too hard. And I ballooned a little bit of power just to just to take the edge off that balloon. And as you can see, quite a bounty landing. So a lot of my last videos were very much like that. Too fast, too hard, bouncing along. So my final two landings, I know I nailed. I felt really good, really in tune with what's going on. So here's a nice straightforward one, perfect power, perfect pitch. Bring it back, 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 keep flying it, keep flying it, and look at that, hardly any bounce. Super happy with that, small smile on my face, and uh, Dom saying, well done, off we go, get up in the air, and then the final landing is gonna be a flapless. So no flaps. Normally when I'm doing flapless on other aircraft, I feel a bit nervous, but in this, we're just coming in higher and flying it for longer. This is to stop, it's not a go around. So now I've got the whole runway to use. I'm coming in without the flaps, a little bit quicker, but actually feeling it, flying it, no dramas at all. The only mistake I make is as we slow down on the runway, I let uh, sort of my feet go light on the rudders, and as the momentum 
the aircraft moving forward slows, the tail suddenly wants to come round and off I go to the left. Whoa! Corrects with the right and uh, bring it back just to get it on the centre line and then off the runway.